welcome back to another video. So in this video, we'll be taking apart this Motorola Droid uh, HD. Uh, it's called the Droid Razor HD, uh, depending on the career. The model number is XT912. Um, this phone, I got it in a part slot, uh, this part slot over here. You can, if you've not watched that video, you can go ahead and watch that video as well. I did it about, about a month and a half ago and um this phone was in a part slot of nine phones um this phone was the one that turned out to be the one only one that didn't work all the other nine all the other eight phones ended up working there are a lot of other motorola's in there this uh razor max then there's a razor uh there was a Mo droid x there was an iphone 4 there was a bunch of other phones as well this is the one that never turned up like never turned on um if you remember, if you watch already watched that video, this phone has those streaks on the display like that. Those are cracks. They're not cracks on the 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 digitizer, the glass. Those are cracks on the AMOLED. So the AMOLED is destroyed. Uh, it's prob it probably fell like this, and though the 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 the, the glass didn't crack, the AMOLED did crack because it's obviously way weaker than the glass. It's really sensitive. Um, so the AMOLED's gone, but I want to know why this thing's not turning on. Um, so we, we will uh, take this thing apart and see. Now, I'm doing this uh, out of memory. Um, I have taken one of these apart ways ago, a long time ago. Um, and I think this is how you do it. Yeah, this is how you do it. You, uh, you gotta take this off first. Um, the, the reflective thing is gone almost it's uh, it's supposed to be stuck to this but it's gone it's been a long time there's supposed to be a screw somewhere here if i remember um let's get rid of this film i know it's not gonna look that nice after i've taken this film like thing off but who cares um i'm not this phone is not gonna work prob most probably but we shall see um i'm not gonna replace the display obviously i'm not gonna not gonna spend money on this thing. Yep, there is a screw there. It is a Torx bit. I need to get a smaller Torx bit. Hold up, let me get a smaller Torx bit and be right back. Okay, so almost the same size as a MacBook. Uh, this is what the this is uh, 1.2. Slightly a bit too bigger for this, but it's still turned. So whatever. Uh, this is the size for the MacBook uh, from 2009 upwards. Um, this is a slot of some sort, a uh, memory card slot, SD card slot as well. Uh, how do I take this apart? Oh, right. You're supposed to wedge the pry tool in here. I'm doing this all out of memory. Um, it's been a while since this phone is from 2011 and um i took one of these apart probably in 2013 ish so what almost seven ish years ago Okay, so we have it off. It's like this. It's not carbon fiber. It's a really, really flimsy piece of plastic. It's almost like paper. Okay, so that's out of the way. Battery. This phone has not been opened in the past. Um, hmm. 1,780 milliamp hours. There are a lot of uh, there are lots of screws around this. I'll take them all off and be right back because it's just gonna take time. Okay, so those are done. However, I just have to, to do these last uh, three at the bottom here. Um, 
So if you're wondering how much the AMOLED for this costs, um, the first of all, they're impossible to find now. Second of all, there are no AMOLEDs. The most of the replacements are uh, freaking LCDs, and um, yeah, they're way too much. There's a few online, way too much. So there's one screw that does not want to budge. Oh boy, there's there's a screw that does not want to budge. Let me deal with that and be right back. Okay, so I'm just going to show you guys a method I use for dealing with uh, stuck screws. Um, basically, it's what everyone in the industry does is solder a uh, screwdriver onto uh, the said uh, messed up screw. Now, use a screwdriver that you don't really care, care about uh, or a tip. So I'm going to solder this tip onto the screw like so it it could be kind of tricky to get them to uh stick but eventually you'll get it to stick and i'll let that dry and be right back okay so that didn't work out as planned the solder that i have is a bit too soft this is a uh, resin core so it turned and it just broke off i tried it a couple of times as well it didn't really work uh, but we'll just rip it off. It doesn't really matter. I already burnt it around in a certain way uh, so that I can just rip it off. Um, here's the tough part. The battery, I remember, it's quite stuck down. But at least it has this pull tab. Uh, okay, there we go. Not too bad as I remember. Um, we have to test the battery um, to see if it's completely dead. Let me get my multimeter here. Hold up. Like that. We'll turn it on to voltage. I don't think you, you guys will see with the light. The uh, multimeter's display is pretty dim. Uh, but I can tell you what's on the multimeter screen. Let's see if we have anything. Nothing. Let's try millivolts. So there's a, oh, there's no reading. Well, there's a zero point, zero point, wait, volts again. Hmm, that's strange. We're getting, well, no, that's the error on my multimeter. No, this thing is completely dead. Sorry about that. Uh, my camera cut out there, but what I was gonna say was the the battery is uh, the battery is screwed. Uh, it does not have anything on it, um, but it might charge back if we, uh, you know, just kind of give it some charge somehow. This is the mid frame, um, and I'm assuming the battery is the issue here. Um, we'll have to see if I can charge it. Let me grab a battery like this. This has two up terminals, so that it's easy to like get it to get it to charge. Um, you can hold it like that for a while and see what happens. Let me do this for a while. Be right back. Okay, so um, that battery is completely shot. There's nothing I can do with it. I kept I kept charging it, and it wouldn't take charge. It's screwed. It's been a long time. It's been almost what. 10 years now since this phone was released. Um, I've soldered two wires onto the terminals. I will see if this, this battery is fully charged. Let's see if this thing turns on. Usually when you do this, the, the vibrate motor at least shows some form of life. Nothing. Let's go to the second terminal. Nothing, third terminal, oh. third terminal, nothing, yeah, nothing. Wait, let me just try another battery, where that, where's that Nokia battery? Oh, here it is. This one is also fully charged, so we got positive, negative. 
nothing. Let's try the other side. Nothing. Uh, I don't know. Thing is probably busted somewhere. I really can't tell. The uh, everything looks normal on the phone, and I'm not gonna take it apart some more. Uh, I don't think it's worth it. The, the The screen's destroyed anyway. There's probably something else wrong with it as well on top of the screen being destroyed. So I'll just go put it uh, back the way it was and just throw it in the collection. Uh, not worth my time. Nah. Anyway, uh, just that was just a video on me screwing around with this phone. Um, I will get back to my usual uploading schedule. Uh, as usual, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thumbs up.